Hey guys, what's up? It's Ruby. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be starting a new sneaker series and basically I'll be styling a different pair of sneakers every video and I'm going to give you 24 outfits for all of those sneakers. So today we're going to be styling Nike Air Force Ones because they are a classic. They're one of my most worn pairs of sneakers that I always wear. So I have four Nike Air Force Ones in different varieties. I've got Nike Air Force One shadows in pastel. Then I've got just normal Nike Air Force Ones that I customed. I've got Nike Sisterhood pack and then I have the Nike Lux. These are the ones that we're going to be styling today. Obviously you can use whatever Nike Air Force Ones that you have in your closet. And these are just outfit ideas. We've got 24. I was actually going to film 22 because 22 is my favourite number and somehow I filmed 24. So I was like, you know, it's a waste if I don't include all of those 24. So we've got 24 and that is the new number of the series. 24 outfits with Air Force Ones. Let me know what sneaker you want to see next in the comments below. I'm thinking Converse, but yeah, let me know. And hope you enjoy the video. So for the first outfit, I'm styling my shadows and I love these ones because they are a pretty pastel colorway. Since there is some lilac in the shoe, I've decided to create this purple look. And these zebra print pants are honestly amazing. They're super high waist and flared legs, so they make your legs look insanely long. Next, I've switched out my shirt to this incredible cardigan. This is literally the cardigan of my dreams. I am obsessed. It's such good quality and the colors are a dream. I've also switched out to my other sneakers with the pink and blue ticks to match the pink in my cardi. I've kept to the pink theme with my accessories with this cute little bag and these retro sunglasses to match. For outfit 3, I've chosen to style this jumper from my recent ASOS haul. I think the colours match so nicely with my sneakers. I'm also loving this oversized knit and mini skirt look for spring. My bag is vintage from Tani's Vintage Clothing and I love the lime green colour of it. So this outfit is giving me major Daphne from Scooby Doo vibes with the orange and purple colour combo. I love that this is a bit of a print clash with the kind of psychedelic print on the knit paired with the zebra print of the skirt. So here I have the first outfit where I'm styling my custom Air Force Ones. These are the very first ones that I ever painted so they have some sentimental value. I also love the bold colours in it which makes them super eye-catching. I've chosen these purple cargo style pants and this colourful party for this look and I like the mix of pastel and solid colours as well. Next I have switched to my shadows and my fave feature of the shadow sneakers are that they are a platform so they give you some extra height. It's also great for these flares since they're super long and I usually need to pair them with either a platform sneaker or a heeled boot so that they don't drag all over the floor. So that works really well with the shadows. For the next look, I've added this amazing House of Sunny cardigan and switched out my nights and bag. Overall, I love the colours of this look and I feel it's super cohesive since the colours of the cardi feature in the rest of the outfit. Next, I've gone for a more spring-summer look by switching out my flares. For this green mini skirt, I feel like this is such a nice outfit with the nice since the blue and the white of the sneakers match so well with the whole look. This look would be amazing for a picnic, which we are allowed to do soon, so it's very exciting. For outfit 9, I've chosen to style my Nike LXX. I've just realised they're called LXX and not Lux. Anyway, I've chosen these jeans which are slightly cropped so that they show off the sneakers a bit more. Overall, I like that this is such a simple and easy look and I'm excited to wear this one as soon as it gets a bit warmer. So yeah, since it is currently still a bit cold, I've added a jumper to this look. I am so obsessed with this jumper. The shade of pink is honestly incredible. It's like the nicest shade of soft, dusty pink. It reminds me of a pink sunset. Anyways, I have switched out my sneakers to my customs and I love the pops of pink in this look. So going back to another spring suitable outfit, I've subbed out my jeans and subbed in this apple green skirt which I love. Again, I love this colour combo, pink and green are one of my all-time faves. I 
Moving on to outfit 12, I'm wearing one of my all time fave trousers, these purple cord pants. To pair with these in my white nights, I've gone for lots of colour with a pastel yellow crop polo and an oversized vintage orange shirt. I feel like this is such a nice casual outfit when you're running errands, like going to the post office or getting groceries. You know, when you want to have one of those days when you actually want to look cute rather than going outside in trackies. So next I've gone for a bit of a blue look. I got this top from Depop for my Instagram post where I recreated outfits worn by Aaliyah and I honestly love it so much. It's such a pretty design and such a nice beachy summer vibe. To pair with this I'm wearing some faded blue jeans with ripped knees and the fit of these is so good. So now I've added a jumper, this is a vintage one from Vintage Threads and obviously I am a big fan of the rainbow design. I've also switched out my bag to this blue one from Niet and you know, just another casual look, we love to see it. Okay, how good are these pants though? I honestly have so much stuff that I'm obsessed with in this video. I swear I have said that I'm literally in love or obsessed with everything so far. Anyways, back to these pants. We love the checks and the color combo. Such a good design. I wanted to go for a full blue look, so I've chosen this crop top and I love the mix of prints here. I feel like it's kind of subtle since the warp design of the top is a softer and a more muted look. Outfit 16, so we're back to the oversized jumper paired with mini skirt look. I love that the blue of the skirt matches so well with the blue in the knit. It almost makes it look like a matching set or something, which is cool. So now we have some purple. This is an outfit I'd wear when I want to be semi-dressed up, but chuck some sneakers on at the last minute to make it more casual. I feel like the Air Force ones really help to make this look more relaxed. For accessories, I've chosen this pink bag from before and I love that it matches with the pink ticks of the sneakers. Next up, we have another pair of amazing pants. I mean, my pants game in this video is really killing it. These are the Warp Check jeans from Lisa Sezka, which I got from her club. I've paired this with my customs and since the pants and sneakers are quite loud, I've chosen to pair this with a crop white tank to finish off the look. Next, I've added this chunky knit cardi and switched out my bag. This is such attention to detail, but I like that the little blue butterfly matches the blue ticks on my nights. <laughs> I feel like whenever I put together outfits, I try to match certain colors and details across the different pieces to come up with a really put together and cohesive look. Okay, we've made it to outfit 20 piece, and I know I'll be styling this with so many different looks. We are matching the purple and sneakers with the rest of the look. So next I'm wearing this white skirt from my recent ASOS haul. I love the fit of this one and it also has shorts inbuilt into it which is great. It kind of reminds me of a tennis inspired look which I am here for. We have gone for a blue top and a blue bag before the rest of this look. So next I've switched out my sneakers and added a knit. I like that you can wear this kind of oversized and baggy or do a little tuck into the skirt so it shows a bit more of the skirt off. Whatever you're feeling, you know, go with it. But yeah, another look that I'm psyched to wear when we are able to go outside again soon. So for outfit 23, I've styled this epic pastel look. I'm literally obsessed with these yellow pants. I thrifted them from Savers in Australia last year. One of my best thrift finds ever, for sure. Pair with these dream pants is this lilac cloud jumper, which we are a big fan of, and I love the lilac and yellow color combo. It's such a vibe. And we have made it to the final outfit. Here we have another super cute spring look to pair with the Air Force Ones. I think the best part about Air Force Ones is that the silhouette and design of them makes any look more casual, cool, and relaxed. They're also so versatile, you can pair them with dresses, skirts, and fun pants, the options are endless. So guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what sneaker you'd like me to style next. You can find me on Instagram, Depop, TikTok, and Pinterest. And stay tuned for the next couple of weeks. I have a 
exciting announcement slash something happening related to Nike Air Force Ones. I don't know if you can guess what it is, but it will be a surprise. I will be teasing some information on my Instagram, so make sure you follow along on there, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!